curious, shining black young stallion named Kayogi Ichi Ichaga, which means enchanted raven in Lakota language. He was born in the same place where the chestnut horse had come into the world, in the village Les Yeux. He was like this when we saw him for the first time three years and two months ago. And now he has become an amazing, dazzling, handsome horse. A quick-tempered and fierce stallion, ready to defend his supremacy over all living beings, both humans and horses, until victory or to the death. And in this particular moment, we met each other again. It's interesting, but all my skills to suppress all the horse's passions were completely useless in this case. This young black horse was priceless, not only because of his grace, beauty, courage, and the great soul of a stallion warrior, but because of his temper, his intolerable temper. My purpose at that moment was very simple, not to damage accidentally his temper, not to suppress his passion, not to stultify the stone, even though he had the explicit desire to tear away my nose or at least a finger with his teeth. It was the stallion's temper which I needed kept in its absolute integrity. Actually, there were no reasons to complain. The temper was perfect. In Kayogi's case, it was not just a naughty game, not at all. This stallion was devotedly, proudly and extremely beautifully attacking the whole world. The fact saved me at first. The case was that the gauntlet which Kayogi was throwing down was addressed to everything and everyone. This challenge concentrated on me only at the moments when I was especially and annoyingly in his way. An eternal warrior against the whole world, always getting steamed up by himself, always craving for conflict, battle and glory. However, Kayogi was really lonely. Of course, at first there was his awful bickering with all the other horses and the entire world. He was searching everywhere to offend, he saw challenge everywhere, and he suspected insult in everything. Full and absolute freedom from the iron and beating, which was immediately and unconditionally given to him by the school, he took for granted, as something which he didn't have to be grateful for. And I needed exactly such a stallion with exactly such temper. And the fact that he was tragically lonely in this world gave me a certain magic key to his soul. And in this place, under triforiums and gables, in the constant cooing and clicking of the metronome, the chestnut horse Lipicina, Talismanova, found herself. This was the place where some time ago her training and completely different life had begun. A life without pain, without fear, without constant despair. Here, the horse does not know beating, the bit, or even shouting. Here, one marvellous peculiarity of the chestnut horse was discovered. 
being a very assiduous pupil, friendly and tender, very disciplined in studies and training, during the breaks or after studies, she could make a real mess. She turned out to be a passionate, rousing and inspired brawler. It became apparent that of all things, the chestnut horse liked playing most. Playing. Playing was her passion and almost the meaning of life. While playing, she was fatal, irrepressible. She was spinning like a whirlwind, tossing her 500 kilos of living weight upwards and straight ahead, sideways and downwards, with cause and without. When the chestnut horse started playing, the metronome guardians flew away and then holed up for a day in the triforiums, afraid of showing their beaks. But the chestnut horse could perfectly distinguish the training from the game, and after the first call, she returned to an academically concentrated mood. And at that very moment, the pigeons returned to the metronome under the old school's coat of arms. 